4th of July, everybody. We're at Columbia Park right now. That's right. We're going to tell you all about the River of Files festivities and your live weather forecast from Columbia Park coming up. Looking forward to that, ladies. Also, people from all over the region heading to downtown Pasco today for the annual Grand Old Fourth of July Parade. The sights and sounds of the celebration is coming up. And leaders in Yakima County are considering funding for the county's search and rescue. Details on what the agency needs coming up. And if you are going to be out on the water, so are law enforcement and agencies helping people keep the water safe and people celebrating responsibly. This is Apple Valley News Now at 5 on your side. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Alyssa Warner. And I'm Austin Reed. On this Independence Day, we start with a live look from our Atanum Ridge Skycam, where the Department of Natural Resources is now battling a wildfire on Keys Road. At this time, there are no evacuation notices in place. Now, the smoke is looking a lot better than it did just a couple of hours ago this afternoon. Here's why we want you to know about this fire. That smoke its going to heavily impact the air quality for people within the area. I was just checking air airnow.gov which tracks wildfire smoke it's showing air quality in the unhealthy for sensitive groups range up towards the terrace heights area and one sensor north of terrace heights is actually registering unhealthy a lot of yakima proper was also seeing moderate air quality at last check this afternoon now, there are several 4th of July celebrations happening around the region, including one at Columbia Park. Yeah, I was out there. It is the River of Fire 4th of July. I, I saw it this morning <laughs> as they were getting ready. Um, but yeah, it's the River of Fire 4th of July celebration, and that is where we now find Good Morning Northwest's Riley Fitzgerald and our Stacy Lee out live. So, uh, ladies, what can you tell us about this year's celebration? Happy Independence Day, everyone. We're live at Columbia Park right now for the River of Fire Festival, and it is so beautiful outside. There is a couple hundred people here already. Fireworks don't start until 10 o'clock tonight. That's right, 10 o'clock tonight. The easiest way to get into the park is to take the Ben Franklin Transit. They've got a shuttle that comes in. Weather-wise, right now we're in the low 90s. There's a light breeze, as you can see, so that's cooling everyone down. Oh, yeah. uh, but we'll see temperatures cooling down to about 78, 80 degrees right Right around the time the fireworks go off so Perfect. be uh, dressing up uh, accordingly for that and uh, let's talk about the weather yeah let's start with your fireworks forecast for tonight things are looking great outside this evening no winds to speak of and temperatures are going to stay warm most of our fireworks shows will shoot off around 10 o'clock tonight by the time you get out of your viewing area it'll be down in the 60s, at least in the Tri-Cities area. Let's also talk about heat. We've got excessive heat warnings in place now through Thursday. So the heat wave begins tomorrow and it's going to be dangerously hot. Little relief from those overnight lows. Again, take those early walks, stay hydrated, find shade, drink water if you're an outdoor worker. And if you have a little more fun in mind and you're heading out on the Columbia River tomorrow, today's or tomorrow's going to be your day. 100 degrees. Now the water temp Temperatures are still on the cooler side, so make sure you have all the appropriate emergency devices on your boat. Let's recap. Beautiful night. Triple digits begin tomorrow. Fire danger extremely high in our region, and that dangerous heat is here to stay through most of next week. I'll talk more about what's coming up in the coming days in just a little bit. So great conditions for fireworks tonight. That's right. It's going to be lovely weather out here. And in fact, I'll have your extended forecast coming up in just a few minutes. <laughs> Riley, Stacy, thank you. Now, for more than six decades, the city of Pasco has hosted a massive 4th of July celebration for our region. Yeah, it all started this morning with the annual parade. And despite the hot weather, folks were still feeling patriotic. <laughs> watching this parade for five years. Talk a little bit about that. So I come outside and I watch it every every year. It starts at about 10 a.m. It's really nice because you get to see all the different like businesses and all the different like groups that come together in the community that kind of feature themselves through this parade. So it's, it's super Thank nice just so to much. see all the different things that you don't get to see otherwise. What's your favorite part so far? The horses! The horses! The horses. All right, there they are. You having fun? 
Yeah. What's your favorite part so far? I'm gonna guess. Is it the popsicle? So you came out decked out because you knew it was gonna be hot right. today. Is it keeping you cool? Not really. It's <laughs> like there's not enough wind to keep the air circulating. So. But the effort was good. The effort. Was good. <laughs> So I grew up um, on 8th and Sylvester, so we've seen the parade my whole life, and now I brought my little ones here today to do the same thing and enjoy the 4th. It's hot, right? We're going to experience our first heat wave Definitely. of the year this weekend. But some people that are in the parade, they're giving out popsicles water. and yeah, water. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah, new. That. Honestly, when we were kids, we didn't have that, so I think it's cool that they're thoughtful to cool us down and cool the little ones down during this hot time, for sure. Yeah. we had a poll on our website and it was regarding how patriotic are you are you more patriotic or less patriotic what is your thought this year i've been selling fireworks since i was eight years old so i'm patriotic the fun did not end there. After the parade, the city of Pasco hosted the ninth annual Cardboard Regatta. There was also the Camp Patriot Show and Shine Car Show. And tonight, of course, it's the fireworks show at Giza Stadium. Gates open at 8 p.m. with the big fireworks show at 10 o'clock this evening. All right, in, on a more serious note, you know, if you plan on being out on the boat for the holiday or during this scorching weekend, remember to have a sober skipper. We first told you about this yesterday, and we want to keep pushing uh, this message out. You know, several law enforcement agencies from around the region, they're going to be joining together for what's called Operation Dry Water. During this time, authorities will prioritize boating safety, especially because the leading known contributing factor in boater deaths is actually alcohol use. Boaters will see an increase in patrols throughout the holiday and of course into this weekend. Remember, it is illegal to operate a boat with a BAC of 0.8 or higher. So put your life jacket on, celebrate responsibly, and again, have that sober skipper. Well, let's talk about first response. The number one phone call dispatchers at Suncom 911 get from Yakima residents on the 4th of July is about fireworks. It almost doubles the organization's daily calls from around 450 to around 900. They do add an extra dispatcher for the holiday, but it is still just six people answering all of those 911 calls. Dispatchers put non-emergency callers on hold while they deal with the true emergencies, but every second matters. Non-emergency callers can delay response time. First responders are reminding and urging the public not to call 911 unless you have a real emergency. For example, if fireworks have started a fire or caused a serious injury. Other news tonight, a West Richland man is under arrest on suspicion of kidnapping a student from the Kennewick School District. Kennewick investigators arrested 26-year-old Anahelo Calder after linking him to the disappearance of a 14-year-old Kennewick teen. Authorities say Calder used to work as a security guard for the Kennewick School District, and the two were known to one another. According to investigators, the man told them that the teen asked for his help on getting down to California. The teen was later found in Multnomah County and returned to her parents. The cause is still under investigation. Yakima County has identified a possible source of funding for the Sheriff's Office search and rescue team, which relies on volunteers and donations. So over the past three years, the county has collected $295,000 from the federal government for payment in lieu of taxes for public lands that the county provides services for. These funds have limited use, but could be put towards funding a part-time deputy to manage the search and rescue team, which the sheriff says is sorely needed with 50 to 70 missions per year all across the state. Some of those are very high profile, you know, it's become a big deal and we don't even have a line in our budget to support it. They live, they literally live off of when we can find somebody to shove their way or donations. Now, commissioners have agreed to move forward with a public hearing. That is a requirement to use those funds. The Oregon Health Authority is warning people about the potential of cyanobacteria or blue-green algae blooms in the Mackay Reservoir in Umatilla County. The Health Authority says the blooms may have contributed to recent animal illnesses. They say the major risk here comes from ingesting the water. So people and pets should avoid swimming and high-speed water activities 
where any blooms are. So if you see water that looks kind of scummy or has a thick green or blue green paint smear looking thing on it, you're going to want to avoid that. As we head to break, we are keeping an eye on a new vegetation fire that's been going on for most of the day in Yakima County. This is over on Keys Road. We're seeing the smoke that's just kind of dissipating after that. Do be aware of changes in air quality as this fire continues to burn. Also ahead, we are checking in with Stacy, but also a look at Hurricane Burl, uh, Burl, where the storm is heading next. Want to test drive U.S. Cellular's nationwide 5G coverage? Yeah. Download our app. Want to do it even faster? Here we go. U.S. Cellular works great out here. Well, still have 5G here too. Hey, I wonder if U.S. Cellular lets me stream in my... Rec room. Yep, it's working. Try out our nationwide 5G coverage free for 30 days. Download the U.S. Cellular Try Us app today. It's a thousand miles from here, but our open southern border is costing us billions and bringing deadly drugs into our communities. The rich are doing just fine, but working families are struggling. I'm Tiffany Smiley, and I approve this message because even though the political establishment told me to wait my turn, I'm running for Congress now to secure the border and lower the cost of living because Washington families can't afford to wait any longer. Get ready for an unforgettable season with the Yakima Valley Pippins baseball team. We're celebrating our 10th season and we want you to be a part of the excitement. Join us at the Yakima County Stadium for a fun, affordable, and professional baseball experience. From single game tickets to season ticket memberships, group events, and merchandise, we have options to fit everyone's needs. This season only, we're offering special deals to celebrate our 10th season. Don't miss out on Yakima Valley Pippins baseball. Hot tub, hot tub, hot tub. Major manufacturers and warehouses clearing some new 2024 inventory. Friday through Sunday, Hapo Center Pasco. Over 100 hot tubs on display and everything must go. New 2024 inventory. Hot tubs starting at $29.95. All inventory 40 to 80% off. Come see the revolutionary swim spa in action and save up to 60%. Trade-ins welcome. Free delivery. We'll even haul away your old hot tub. Worry-free installation. 18-month interest-free financing. Millions of dollars of inventory must be sold. Hapo Center Pasco. Free admission. Free parking. Call 833-SPA-SALE. It's still the best time to save as the 4th of July sale continues this Friday at More Furniture. Get incredible values for every room in your home all on sale. The looks you love are in stock and ready for delivery just in time for summer entertaining. Visit your local showroom or browse all 4th of July sale products online at morefurniture.com. Only at More Furniture, where everyone buys furniture for less. Jessica Jalol and Jules Sperling. Good morning, Northwest. Weekdays on your side. Welcome back. Well, it is warm today, but that is just going to keep coming. And due to the extreme heat that we're expecting through the weekend into next week, cities around the region are setting up temporary cooling centers. In Walla Walla County, there are several options for people to go beat the heat. The official cooling center is First Congregational Church on Palouse Street in Walla Walla. That's going to be open Sunday, July 7th through Tuesday, July 9th at the very least from 10 a.m. until 6 p.m. Heat is the number one deadliest weather event, so you do want to make sure you use these cooling centers to take a break from the heat, stay hydrated, and avoid strenuous activity if you can. In the Lower Valley Tri-Cities region, several temporary cooling shelters are available, again, for people to just get out and take a break from the heat. In many of the cities, Mid-Columbia Library branches will be open during business hours to help people out. You can find a location near you by going to our website, applevalleynewsnow.com. We have the information on cooling centers, addresses, phone numbers, and all the hours of operation listed there. Now, nat nationally, the death toll from Hurricane Beryl now stands at nine throughout the Caribbean after Jamaican officials confirmed another death there today. So the massive storm continues to turn toward Mexico and possibly the U.S. in the days ahead. Laura Aguirre tells us where Beryl is right now and recovery efforts on the islands in its wake. It was like something just out of the world, you know. It was just...
unbelievable. Everything you can think about is gone. Hurricane Barrel's deadly and destructive path through the Caribbean now has it passing just south of the Cayman Islands. As of Thursday afternoon, it had weakened to a Category 2 storm with maximum sustained winds around 110 miles per hour, as tracked by the National Hurricane Center. Still packing a powerful punch, like the one that hit Jamaica Wednesday. We are now into recovery phase. Barrel was a Cat 4 when it pummeled parts of the island nation. Jamaica's Prime Minister says several hundred people are in shelters as crews restore utilities and work to open blocked roads in several towns. Officials are assessing damage and safety risks as critical aid stands by. Which we hope to start distribution as soon as more information becomes available. Barrel is expected to remain a hurricane as it churns toward Mexico. Hopefully it'll continue to spin down as it gets closer and closer to the Yucatan Peninsula. Hurricane hunters have been flying through Barrel all week, providing real-time information to forecasters tracking its path. Not an easy task with this size of storm, which started out as the earliest ever Cat 5 in the Atlantic hurricane season. These storms change literally every hour, hour and a half. They mm -hmm. have their own attitude and personality as they develop and go through eyewall regenerations and their life cycle changes, so they're never the same. Barrel could strengthen again in warm Gulf waters as it rolls toward northeastern Mexico and south Texas over the weekend. I'm Laura Aguirre reporting. Across the rest of the nation, it is a sweltering 4th of July as more than 140 million people across the U.S. are dealing with an extremely dangerous heat wave. Heat alerts are up in 20 states just today. Temperatures are expected to reach as high as 110 degrees in parts of Nevada, Arizona, and California, where firefighters are now battling more than two dozen active fires. One of the largest is the Thompson Fire, which has burned more than 3,500 acres just north of Sacramento. About 26,000 people in that region are under evacuation orders. Now here in our area, the heat alerts are coming a little bit later. Fortunately, today we're hearing great weather for the 4th. Yeah, so let's check in once again because it's the River of Fire 4th of July celebration. Riley Fitzgerald, Stacy Lee joining us live. And you ladies are looking really cool. Happy 4th. <laughs> And you know what, guys, the weather is lovely down here. A little on the warm side. We're in the low 90s right now, but there's just enough of a light breeze to be comfortable. Uh, a lot of folks are enjoying the Columbia River either on the boat or from the shore, and they're all lining up, barbecuing in the park, getting ready for a fabulous fireworks show here at Columbia Park, the River of Fire. Now the fireworks go off around 10 o'clock. We'll see temperatures close to 80 degrees at that time. Let's talk about the rest of your weather forecast. From Apple Valley News Now, first alert weather with Stacy Lee. And we'll take a look outside at the Death Devil Sky Camp tonight. Beautiful. Get ready for the fireworks show out there. Temperature wise for the fireworks, it's looking good. Dress accordingly by 9 o'clock. You're still going to be close to 80 degrees by the time the show gets over and you get out of there. Uh, temperatures dropping down to about 68. So a nice looking night overall for fireworks this evening. Now the excessive heat warning in place through our area. There's heat advisories. There's excessive heat watches. And in our area, the excessive heat warning. That means we've got an extensive heat wave coming our way. Here's some tips to uh, keep you cool and keep you safe during the heat wave. Try to stay indoors in that AC whenever possible. Stay hydrated. Check on those most vulnerable to the heat like kids and the elderly and uh, get your stuff done early or late in the day. Make sure you're wearing light colored clothing uh, for the next coming days. Also want to be fire wise. We have a first alert high impact fire day Friday and Saturday for the entire viewing area. Spay, uh, pay special attention to the Kittitas Valley where those winds are going to be a bit breezy. Let's take a look at our temperature trends as we move into this heat wave. Those triple digits start Friday and they continue right on through Wednesday. Uh, Tri-Cities is looking hot as well. We could see temperatures flirting with 110 degrees on Tuesday. In Walla Walla, going to be very hot there as well. A little bit slower start for those triple digits, but once they get there, they're going to be sticking around. Here's what it looks like in Hermiston. Really, really hot there, plus some breezy winds. Fire danger remains elevated throughout our entire area. Uh, tonight's lows, though, will cool off. They give us a little bit of reprieve before before the hot weather starts tomorrow, look for lows tonight in the upper 50s and low 60s pretty much all through the region. For tomorrow, we're going to see temperatures all over the place, but most of us hitting those triple digits. 
pretty close in the foothills of the Blues and the Dow's a hot 104. That'll be the hot spot tomorrow, but uh, triple digits all through the Yakima and Columbia Basin Valleys. If you're heading out on the golf course, it's going to be a hot weekend for that. Get out early. Friday's going to be beautiful for your golf day. Sunny and hot Saturday. Make sure you stay hydrated there. On Sunday, you might want to get an early tea time because 105 is pushing it up there uh, for your golfing. Seven day planning forecast. Here we go. We've got several alert days in place. Those triple digits are going to start Friday and make their way all the way into next week, where hopefully we'll start to see things cooling down to a few degrees on Thursday hopefully right into next weekend. Here's what the Tri-Cities is looking like. Lots of alert days here with sweltering temperatures. Temperatures flirting with 110 on Tuesday. It stays nice and hot on Wednesday and Thursday there as well. And in Walla Walla, it's going to be a hot one. It's going to be close to 100 Friday and Saturday. A little bit of clouds keeping it tiny bit cooler there. But those triple digits definitely will make their way into the forecast right on through Thursday. And finally, Hermiston triple digits digits there extremely hot again try to get your stuff done outside early and make sure you're drinking lots of water and staying nice and hydrated i want everybody to have a happy and safe fourth of july and try to stay cool in these coming days with the big heat wave on the way Happy Fourth of July, everybody. We're here live at Columbia Park in Kennewick. The Festival of the River of Fire Festival starts tonight. There's a lot of people here already. Fireworks go off at 10 o'clock this evening. It's a beautiful show if you haven't seen it. People have been here since probably about 2 o'clock today. People on blankets, people under tents, having a great time. There's lots of people out on boats as well. We can see some of them behind me. There's a bunch of activities here today, too. There's a food truck alley there's a beer garden there's also a kids zone that we can see there's knocker ball and laser tag so a lot of cool things are going on lots of people walking around waiting for awesome festivities to happen here at the park so it's going on until 10 30 tonight and have a fantastic and safe fourth of july live in kennewick i'm riley fitzgerald with apple valley news now i'll send it back to you guys all right, Riley, thank you so much. Appreciate that. Looks like they're having fun out there. It does. <laughs> All right, up next here on your News at 5 and more headlines. After last week's debate, President Biden says without this one thing, he's not at his best. Honestly, I'm not at my best either. When the president says he's going to do in order to make sure he stay on top after that performance, we're back right after this. Take off over a fun park. Fly the Northwest. Apple Valley News Now at 6 Tuesday. It's a celebration of cab this summer in Walla Walla. Take part in special tastings of rare library wines, enjoy intimate winemaker dinners, and gain access to premium cabs during the wine panel presentation and tasting. Tickets are on sale now at wallawallawine.com. Life can be hard. With Culligan, your water doesn't have to be. Criminal illegals flooding our southern border and fentanyl flooding our streets. But Dan Newhouse has a plan to fight back. Stop illegal immigration, secure the border, and seize illegal fentanyl. We need to keep pushing hard, working hard uh, to stop the illegal flow of people and the illegal flow of drugs. Call Congressman Newhouse and tell him to keep fighting to stop the illegal flow of people and drugs at the southern border. Swing into Fred's Appliance today for our 4th of July celebration and discover unbeatable deals on the largest selection of in-stock get-it-today inventory in our region. Tackle pet hair and tough stains with the Maytag Pet Pro washer and dryer, now just $7.99 each. Save $800 on the pair during our holiday sale. These Maytag machines feature specialized pet cycles and powerful cleaning technology, making them perfect for pet owners. We sell appliances, only appliances. We've upped the stakes in our summer-long winning Gone Wild drawings at Legends Casino Hotel. With over $80,000 in cash and a 2024 Jeep Gladiator up for grabs. Break free from your backyard weeds and head to Legends Casino Hotel every Thursday in July. Use your Legends Rewards card to pile up entries. And you could be exploring the wilderness in a new Jeep Gladiator on July 25th. When your winning nature calls, go to Legends Casino Hotel in Toppenish. 
thousands on the new Revolutionary Swim Spa at a one-time sale. Friday through Sunday, Hapo Center Pasco. Exercise with low impact. Swim the entire year and stay in shape. Teach your kids to swim. Unwind and save thousands. Avoid the expense and maintenance involved with a pool. Swim, exercise, and relax in your new aquatic exercise swim spa. Installation and one day only. New 2024 inventory. 18-month interest-free financing. Millions of dollars of inventory must be sold. Hapo Center Pasco. Free admission. Free Call 833 Sale. It's a celebration of cab this summer in Walla Walla. Take part in special tastings of rare library wines, enjoy intimate winemaker dinners, and gain access to premium cabs during the wine panel presentation and tasting. Tickets are on sale now at wallawallawine.com. Making political headlines this evening, President Joe Biden says he needs more sleep. At least that's what he told a group of Democratic governors at the White House yesterday. The president says he plans to stop scheduling events after 8 p.m. to make sure that he gets adequate rest. It is part of the president's effort to alleviate concerns about his fitness after his performance at last week's debate. We're going to have more from the president coming up tonight at 6. But Austin, honestly, same. We all oh, need yeah. more sleep. Oh, yeah. I, I <laughs> love sleep. I love it. <laughs> All right. I also love the forecast that we're talking about. That's coming up right after this. Smoke City for Less. We are open seven days a week with now five locations. Enjoy bowling here at Triple Play, where fun is always in season. French fries are fun, which is always in season here at Triple Play. Speaking of fun, did you know it's always in season at Triple Play? Dude, what's with dropping the tagline? The marketing ladies wanted me to push it. What did they offer you? Five pizzas. Gonna share, right? Of course. Triple Play has fun attractions for everyone, including go-karts, mini golf, and many more, all attached to a cozy hotel. Oh, thanks. <laughs> The Y Card, a powerful resource for former Hanford and DUE employees. If you worked in the area and have come down with cancer, lung disease, Parkinson's, or renal failure, you may be eligible for financial compensation and health care services. A simple phone call can get the process started. Atomic Home Health. Don't wait. Call today. It's the big 4th of July sale this week at Walker's. With big discounts on all your favorite name brand furniture items. Or pay for it over time with no money down and no interest financing for up to five years. This week at Walker's. With so much at stake, so much on the line, more Americans turn here than any other newscast. ABC News, World News Tonight with David Muir, America's number one most watched newscast across all of television. Want to test drive U.S. Cellular's nationwide 5G coverage for free? Here we go. Yeah, I wonder if U.S. Cellular lets me stream in my... Yep, it's working. Download the U.S. Cellular Try Us app today. Get ready for an unforgettable season with the Yakima Valley Pippins baseball team. We're celebrating our 10th season, and we want you to be a part of the excitement. Join us at the Yakima County Stadium for a fun, affordable, and professional baseball experience. From single game tickets to season ticket memberships, group events, and merchandise, we have options to fit everyone's needs. This season only, we're offering special deals to celebrate our 10th season. Don't miss out on Yakima Valley Pippins baseball. Vegas action is closer than you think. The fun is waiting for you at Knob Hill Casino. Come in and pull up a chair at your choice of blackjack, pie gal, heads up hold'em, or high card flush, and play with the friendliest dealers in town. Join our players club to take your game to the next level and earn rewards for food, bowling, prizes, and cash. There's always a spot for you at Knob Hill Casino where the locals play. Take off for a bird's eye view of a fun riverside park. We bring our bikes down here, we walk down here, and then when mommy's tired, we drive down here. Fly the Northwest. It's a huge asset. I really enjoy it. Apple Valley News Now at 6 Tuesday. Hi, E.T. Taylor Swift, never before seen interviews from all her eras. How did this happen? It's a special E.T. Vault Unlocked. E.T., you have the exclusive. Next E.T. Tonight at 7 on Apple Valley News Now. All right, let's plan your day out for tomorrow. It's going to be a warm one. Look at those temperatures already in the 70s at 8. Go walk the dogs early in the morning. 90s by midday. It's getting too hot for that and extremely hot by the early afternoon. Let's take a peek at your seven-day planning forecast. Lots of hot temperatures. Our first major heat wave of 2024, and we could see temperatures getting close to record-breaking levels as we dip into that heat wave next week. Here's what it looks like in Walla Walla and Hermiston. 
Houston. Once again, very hot there as well. Could be breaking some rep records in Walla Walla and in the Hermiston area as we head into next week. So overall, be safe out there. Be fire wise. Try to stay cool and hydrated and happy 4th of July. Thanks, Stacey, and thank you so much for watching. We're back tonight at 6. Yeah, world news tonight coming up next, though.